What up guys, I'm back with another video today and I'm about to teach y'all to get SS Deadly Bomber and Handy Cannon. They both are really good moves. Handy um, Cannon, I'm going to show y'all that at the end of the video. It's so broken. SS Deadly Bomber, really good tracking. That's probably like one of the best tracking moves in the game. And it does, you know, some decent damage. So we first start off fighting Android 13. Um, Piccolo will be on your side. He will run off once you get him down to a certain amount of health every time you go through each portal. And one thing I'm going to say is, as I was reading the um, Parallel Quest description, they said um, make sure no allies die. I mean, it's not going to end the mission, but it's going to have something to do with you either getting the move or not getting the move. Also, don't make too big of a deal about it. Because, um, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's not really a hard drop, but it kind of is. But right here you fight Android 16. I killed him first. He's really, all the people in the mission are easy to beat. They are not too hard to beat. And Android 13, um, he keeps running off as, you know, get his health down, like I said. But um, after this you will fight Android 17 to 18, and Vegeta will be on your side. Trunks Future is on my side right now um, as an ally. So we got Android 13. He's going to the next portal, Arja Capello. And... Android 17 and 18, they're also easy to defeat. Like, everybody's in this mission is easy to defeat. Probably except for the last one. It's not too much of a difficulty. You just have to make sure Goku doesn't get past health too much. But we fight Android 17 and 18. Make sure 17 does not, you know, get Vegeta past half health bar. Because um, number 17, he, like, he attacks Vegeta a lot. You'll see it probably coming up but like he attacks Vegeta a lot as I was doing this mission okay Android 13 goes to the next portal and then you know we're off with killing um, 17 and 18 and I'm not um, in my videos y'all notice that I always skip through so y'all wouldn't have to like watch a full like 10 20 minute video so I skip through that just you know to make the video short and simple okay so we um get Android 17 Okay, so Android 17 is right here. See, right there, he's attacking Vegeta. He attacks him a lot. He stays locked onto him. Vegeta can pretty much defend himself. And basically, what I do in these, you know, quests, play cheesy as you can. I mean, you're trying to get a move. This is not online or anything, you know. Even if it was online, I wouldn't even worry about, like, you know, unvanishable and all that. This is why I usually do to pull most of my damage off. Because if you try to play legit, you're gonna you're not gonna get demolished but it's gonna be like a little bit difficult so right now we're gonna fight android super 17 and android 13 and goku will be your um ally for this one this is probably the main part of you getting the move it will say you got skill when you kill android 13 and like i said um in the last video about the order don't worry too much about the order because somebody in the comment section said I did a different order as you, and I still got the move. So, I really don't know. But Android 13 is at blue health. Um, it's pretty high. But you can still pull off really good damage on them. And Handy Cannon, it is a randomized get. It will not say you got skill whenever you're, you know, trying to get Handy Cannon. I got it separate with um, SS Deadly Bomber. I didn't get them both at the same time. I wish I did. The videos would be more simple, but either way, you know, it's pretty fun. To just you know keep doing the parallel quest over and over. So we got um, Android 13 as last health bar, about to probably end them off with a supernova sword or a giant storm. We win. <laughs> They're both a good move. Yeah, um, with the move sets, make sure that you use pretty good moves. I mean, you want to like do as many moves as you can, like to do off damage. Okay, so right there, I zoomed in. Says you got skill, and I got SS Deadly Bomber. I was so happy. Unlike the last quest, I did not stay up for six hours trying to get this. I was just trying to get the skill drop. Like, every time I didn't get it, I just restarted the mission. And that's a good thing. And Goku, he did get past um, half health. But it wasn't like when I killed um, Android 13, I still had got the skill before, you know, got past half health. Super 17, easy defeat. He doesn't have too many health bars as of now. He only has, let's just say, one even though he has a little bit of his second one though. Shock and Death Ball, if it had the same tracking as SS Daily Bomber, I'm sure more people would use it. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people would use it. It's a really good move. Just that the moves in the DLC, they're usually doing like um, 7,000 damage. 
Okay, so about to kill the 17, well, that was super 17. Sooner or later, you block that. I got so mad right there. Because, like, I was I was living in the rest this because I was like, I can't wait to use SF Daily Bonnet because of how good the move is. Okay, about to kill him. <laughs> Grab. Probably trying to perfect block again. We got the ultimate finish. I thank you guys for watching this video. Make it your favorite, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Okay, this move I was talking about, I don't really have to explain, just watch. The move is broken, it does tons of damage. <laughs> I mean, it's so crazy. Just look at this. Like, why? Also, I might make another um, outro, you know, just for fun. <laughs> I'll see y'all guys later. Make sure you like and subscribe.